Hey, so question again. Why is it England, this nation, abolished slavery 1801 and yet Islam abolished slavery 1968 Saudi Arabia? Why? Why so late? Why is it the question? Uh, why is it England, Britain, Britain had the Royal Navy, the Royal Navy, and it went to East Africa and West Africa and, and stopped slave trading. And yet Islam has never stopped slave trading. Why the difference? Why? Why? Second. There you go, mate. Well, praise God Almighty. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the life, I am the truth. No man comes to the Father except by me. Where's Muhammad? Dead. Jesus, back from the dead. Jesus is higher. Jesus is higher. Muhammad is dead, 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 dead. Ah, but Jesus died, but he came back from the dead. Hallelujah. Where's Jesus? In heaven. Where's Muhammad? In hell. Where is he? He's dead. So why do you follow a dead man? I'm not following a dead man. Yes, Muhammad is dead. Muhammad is dead. Did Muhammad come back from the dead? So he says, got no power. But Jesus has power. But where's the dead body of Jesus? Where's the dead body of Jesus Christ? Oh, he's alive. Back from the dead, he arose. Hallelujah. Christ arose. Are you an eyewitness? No. Are you saying he's there? Oh. Are you an eyewitness? I know who's an eyewitness. Oh. Matthew? Matthew? Yes. Who's your eyewitness? God. God the liar, Allah. Allah? You know what Allah means? Yes, the devil. Allah means God. No, it doesn't. Allah means God. The Quran says Allah is the best of deceivers. Where does it say that? Oh, you don't know. So, Read it up. <laughs> Allah is, the Quran says Allah deceives. So why should I follow a deceiver? Yes, everybody knows that. Yeah. Best of the creators. So who are the other creators? Yeah. That's right. So Allah is only a Greek God. That's right. But then you have another problem. Why does Allah swear? Allah swears by the fig tree. Allah swears by the pen. The pen. So how can you swear by the pen? <laughs> Is the pen greater than Allah? Exactly. Hello, sir. Out of dust. That's right, which is not. By the way, why does the Quran say Jesus Christ, our Lord, created a bird out of dust? What's the reason? Huh? 
Yo, Cleo Dust, what's the reason? What, what's the reason? Yeah, for creating a bird out of clay. What else are you gonna make it out of? No, what's the reason? For it. Uh, you know, yeah. He doesn't understand the question. Ask him again. Look, the Quran tells us that Jesus created a, a bird out of clay. Why? Why? Why did he create Adam out of clay? No! Hey! Yeah. There were millions of birds already there. But why does the Quran say that when you know and I know there were millions of birds all over the world when Jesus was there? Because they are trying to so what? I know that, but why do Muslims deny that? So. Well, they're confused. On one hand, they say Jesus is not God, and yet. Jesus does something only God can do. Does that make sense? Thank you. Oh, you need to repent and turn to the Lord. <coughs> That's the foundation of the gospel. John the Baptist says, repent. Yeah. So you build on that, and then you're born again by the Spirit of God, by the by the grace of God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the fruit of the Christian. I agree. No, no, it's all right. Jesus, uh, hello, ma'am. God bless you. <laughs> Jesus answered and said to them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son of God can do nothing by himself but what he sees the Father doing. For all that the Father does, the Son also does in the same way. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all things. What day Sorry? When the Sabbath? The Sabbath is between Friday, 6 o'clock in the evening until Saturday, 6 o'clock. Yeah, but the keeping of the Sabbath is not necessary for a Christian today. Why? Because Jesus is the Sabbath. Jesus actually healed on the Sabbath and he made a lot of people very angry. <laughs> what about Matthew 5 17? Yeah. I did not come to abolish the law. But he uphold the law, which is true. But Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. So, healing, as a medical doctor, for example, you can heal someone in the Sabbath. A donkey in a. Yeah, so, so what's the reason for the Sabbath? Man was not made for the Sabbath. Sabbath was made for man, complete opposite. There's a, uh, Jesus says worship God in spirit and in truth. So that's very important. What you will notice is that when James and the other apostles said, these are the things that the Gentile Christians must obey, they never mention the Sabbath. So don't touch blood, don't be sexually immoral, uh, uh, and the other commandments. But they never talk about the Sabbath because every day should be a day for the Lord. Not just 
Friday to Saturday or sun, Saturday to Sunday. No, no, no. Every day. Yeah. So God, I mean, look, in Genesis, God created everything in six days and he set aside another day for rest. God doesn't need to rest. He doesn't need that. But he did it as an example for mankind to say, look, when you work all the week, you should have one day off. Your brain needs a rest. <laughs> your spirit needs a rest. Your soul needs a rest. And then you're refreshed. Now we have a government that wants a four days of work in a week. So what are you going to do for three days? Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, the Labour government is a bunch of thieves. They want to tax you to take away your pension and then say we're going to use that money for other people. Say, hang on, I worked. Why should I give my pension away? What about conservatives and atheists? Well, there you go. What about the illegal migrants from France? If I was the Prime Minister, I would get the Royal Navy, put all the boats, the Royal Navy in the English Channel. And uh, if a migrant boat comes along, turn him around. Turn him around. See, very simple. Uh, have you seen the photographs and videos of the French police in Dunkirk and Calais? And they're watching as the boats go off. They do nothing, and yet our money is given to them. It's, it's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. If this was France, and France was England, would the French like it? No way. They would hate it passionately because they know something is not right. Simple as that. Yeah. I mean, I've had illegal migrants trying to get into my van at Dover, sorry, at Calais, when I'm coming back. And I'm going, what's going on? They want me to have 2,000 pound fine? <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, so we need righteousness in government, where there's Keir Starmer and his friends. Now, did you notice that there were about 200 members of parliament, the new ones, they did not swear on the Bible. They refused. So we have 200 pagans in parliament. They don't care. And yet Britain has Jewish Christian laws on the statute book. It's our tradition. So they don't want that. What are they going to replace it with? They're in the majority. So we have a dangerous government, you know, it's going to trample on our freedoms. They want us to go back to the EU, and yet we've already voted Brexit. So why do you want to go back to the France and Germany, whatever? We made a decision, democratic, and that's it, <laughs> you know. Uh, so now, I used to work in the freight industry, traveling to Europe almost every other week. Right, so I can. I, to me, when Brexit came, there were pa extra papers to fill in. I said that's normal, but it's okay. I'm still going. I'm coming back. So I don't. Fishing is another problem. Why our fishermen not getting the real quotas in English waters, British waters? But the Dutch have got these huge ships that vacuum clean the fishing and they say it's not enough <laughs> it's crazy you know there must be standards of morality right in parliament our politicians whether they're conservative uh, reform liberal democrats or labor they must realize that god is the one that looks at them to enforce righteous laws and not just because they have a majority so right you know in the bible there are lots of examples where god destroyed judah and jerusalem for doing lawless things why don't we learn 
God is no respecter of any nation. We need the fear of God in politics and in the nation. And only then can we have a new reformation, a revival in this nation and make it great again. I mean, look at those girls. What kind of dress is that? <laughs> we don't need a dress police, but their mother is a daughter. You're going to where the men are going to be ogling you. Be careful. So why do you want to encourage the men to do that? You know, 30 years ago, parents didn't do that. So what's happening today? When I'm teaching in college, yeah, we find that kids have got no manners. I tell them, when you come to class, have two pens. In case one doesn't work. No, sir. I say, yeah. This is only five pence in Poundland. Go buy a pack. <laughs> and they're going, sir, I don't use pence. I'm being silly. So you find that today's culture has changed a lot. Kids don't want to respect authority, uh, have respect for elders. They don't care, you know. That's why we saw such a terrible spectacle early on today. I mean, that is disgraceful. And yet the Muslim men didn't go to the children and say, you children, don't behave like this. This is wrong behavior. And they just thought, oh yeah, because they're Christians, therefore you can insult them. How can you live with your neighbors in England if you do that? Huh? It's crazy. Jesus warns, you know, verse 21, for the Father raises the dead and gives life to them. Even so, the Son of God gives life to him he will. For the Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, that everybody should honor the Son just as they honor the Father. And Jesus warns, he who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Wow, that is clear cut. Jesus says, honor the Father, honor the Son. Honor the Son of God, you honor the Father. You see, when you look at my face, you all you see is a body. But there's more than a body here. There's a spirit lives in the body. Everybody's got a spirit, a body, and a soul. We like to, uh, you know, push-ups, gymnastics, and those muscles for the body. But what about your spirit? Is your spirit muscles working? You need to exercise them. And the Word of God is what exercises our spirits. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is when the dead in in that music corner there, we'll hear the voice of the Son of God. And those who hear will live. That music reminds us that's the way of the world. That music does not last for eternity. Jesus says, Lord, hallelujah. That's for eternity. The ones making money are the ones who win at that music festival. And yeah, look at all the kids. Bob Smacks. Oh, it's my hero. <laughs> you know, Jesus is the winner over death. Jesus is the resurrection. I am the resurrection. Amen. May God bless you as you go home, friends. God bless you. You're welcome.